What's going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Cardano to BTC. And as you guys saw in the title, we will be busting a pretty interesting theory that's going around the crypto industry or the crypto YouTube world. As of right now, hopefully you guys are aware, there is many videos coming out uh, discussing very, very, very perma bearish, very bearish videos regarding Bitcoin. Specifically, the fact that Bitcoin could drop to $2,500 very soon within 2019. And I feel like this is a scare tactic as well as a semi clickbait article really trying to grasp the emotional attachment many people have towards cryptocurrency. And I kind of wanted to bust that theory uh, and kind of give my own, I guess, thoughts to something like that potentially happening and where I see, you know, the market going, we know that Bitcoin's in the possibility of hitting $6,000. So let's discuss our trades. Otherwise, let's jump right into today's video. Make sure you're subscribed to turn on post notifications. Leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content and let's go. So guys, as you can see, we're on the current coin market cap and we have a Bitcoin dominance of 55.8%, which is fairly similar to yesterday, I believe. Not much more movement than we saw. We do see a lot more market cap and a lot more 24 hour volume. Market cap being 188 Point four billion is about seven billion dollars higher than where we were yesterday 24 hour volume 56 billion so that is also much higher than yesterday so indicating money is moving into the exchanges which is lovely we love to see it but it can play a potential negative you know effect on the market out of the top 10 cryptos only tether seems to be down 0.998 is the current price really not going to see much movement there but out of the other top 10 cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, they're up about 4 to 5%. Ethereum really killing it right now, up 7.8%. We see Litecoin still in the number five position, about a $500 million gap between Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin. And they're both up around 35 to 4%. So they really don't look bad. Um, scrolling down, we do see a lot of green in the rest of the market. And I do want to discuss what exactly is going on. True Chain up 24%. That is absolutely wild. Now, I do want to shift our focus onto the charts right now and really dive into what exactly is coming. Now, I do want to explain my potential prediction or what I feel or what my thoughts are on seeing Litecoin or Bitcoin potentially hit $2,500 in 2019, which I uh, am pretty bearish towards that ever happening. I don't think we're going to be going down much more, um, but I will discuss it. We will go into it as well as doing our you know normal charting. So I want to shift our focus right now to Litecoin and then we'll tie this into potentially dropping with Bitcoin. So very interesting thing is happening right now, guys. Very, very, very interesting. So as you guys know, we bought at around $75 yesterday and I had this really big gut instinct to take that out and take some profits out for a couple of reasons. Um, yes, we could have bought down here at around 20%. I didn't. I was waiting for a pullback all the way down to $67, which I still think is in the air and potentially going to happen. And when I saw us start to pull back up and retest this line and even break through that, I took the opportunity and sold that 10% I have. And for proof of that, let's switch over to eToro. And it's an awesome exchange, eToro. It's a way to virtually trade in a simulated crypto market. Highly recommend you check it out. It is very, very, very helpful for those who want zero risk and really to learn how exactly to trade prior to using real money. So as this loads in, you guys can see that we, let me filter this to manual trades, bam. So you can see uh, we had two trades happen right now. The one that we did last week, we bought it, at, bought 145 units, bought it at 68, 89 sold it at 73 and then the most recent one was 75.94 we sold it at 76.24 uh 28 not really a big profit but we did make 44 dollars. but that was off a ten thousand dollar trade so it's really not nothing to to uh flaunt or gloat about it is a trade to the upside um but it's something that i do want to go into specifics more so as to why i did that so Truthfully, yeah, we could have done the 10% buy in here and then buy more there. And that was going to be the plan. But I started to really analyze the rest of the market and I made some more lines on Bitcoin's chart. And I kind of came to the conclusion that they may, may not be the smartest you know, decision. So I did rethink where I was going to buy in and when I'm going to sell off. And honestly, there's a lot of resistance right now and a lot of bearish 
you know, outlook on here. We do see a lot of resistance with our ascending wedge. You know, we were, for those of you who are new, we were trading in this ascending wedge for quite some time. You can see those purple lines. And then we finally broke out of it not only on the upside but the downside and now it's acting as a pretty strong resistance but that's not where i'm going with this yes it's a resistance on litecoin but i mean litecoin looks great 50 on the rsi plenty of potential to move up but that's where it leads into bitcoin's charts and where bitcoin could potentially fall to twenty five hundred dollars i think not but let's check it out so we then checked out bitcoin and i did actually draw a couple of things on the charts and hopefully i want you guys to notice you know what exactly is going on now if any of you guys want to take advantage of the exclusive updates and the specific live like live litecoin and cryptocurrency charts that i offer on my youtube definitely make sure to check out patreon it's the second link in the description it's a great way to support the channel but it also is a great way for you guys to get one-on-one -on -one contact with me as well as get all of my charts exclusively on there as well as some other perks. I think I'm going to start, you know, integrating the Patreon people will have the, I guess the pick, the top pick as to what cryptos to review the following week. So I'm going to make that exclusive to YouTube. I mean, sorry, exclusive to Patreon. So if you guys want to partake and you have cryptocurrencies that you want me to graph for you guys, you must leave it down in, you must join the Patreon group because that's where a lot of that's going to be happening. So it's pretty awesome. Exclusive group. Uh, it's really a huge community now. I, like, every day I see more and more people subscribe to it. So it's absolutely awesome. It's a great way to get these charts um, live updated and live chartings prior to me posting it on YouTube. So it's a great way to stay current with the market. But moving on from that, I really did want to discuss what exactly is going on. So let's just take a quick look, a more microeconomic look as to what's going on short term. Then we'll check out Bitcoin in this long term, potentially $2,500 drop. So you can see that we do have some sort of ascending wedge that's opening up right here. And we did actually manage to break you know, above it. Is it something that I think is going to be stable? Are we going to break through $6,000? I don't think so. I really don't. Uh, mainly because we're entering overbought right now. Uh, and that's really not something to be too happy about. You can also see on the four hour, we're about to enter overbought. So there's a lot of negative negativity on the market. And we're also looking near overbought on the weekly, which is a good indicator of a potential pullback. So I give it there for 2,500, but more short term, the daily and the for uh, the the four hour charts both are showing bearish signs that this is not sustainable and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if i see a pullback just like this this would not be something too concerned about i'd actually be grateful if we saw a healthy pullback like this and i would be buying in back at that level so that would be huge and it probably wouldn't even send it it, it actually it may send it just off the oversold line but i don't think much of it and if that does happen, it will inevitably pull Litecoin back to the $66 resistance, or sorry, the $66 support. And that will be a great buying opportunity to put my 10% in, obviously. So you can see a lot of resistance up here, not necessarily a bad thing. $80 for Litecoin is still a problem area, but I don't think we're going to move up until bitcoin decides to pull back down it needs this healthy pullback bitcoin can really not go much higher i mean it can enter this overbought market right here but i don't think it's going to head that high i think it's way too dangerous and it's going to you know pull back down at a very sharp rate now also notice the last time we had a jump like this oops did not mean to do that the last time we had a jump we were trading out sideways, but we were down at the 50 RSI, pr practically. And so when we did shoot up, we had the, the movement to do that. Now, that's starting at 50. We're currently already overbought, so it really doesn't open up much doors to move that much higher up, if you guys are following what I'm saying. You know, we, you know, we started here, we had room to move up. We're already overbought, so we can't really move up much more. Now, I do want to discuss this potential $2,500 drop before we move into Ethereum and Cardano, which are also some very interesting coins. So let's mark out where $2,500 is on the RSI. Wow, so $2,500 is literally right here on the weekly. So this is $2,500. All right, so now we have this drawn. Let's, you know... We're looking at this now at a more macroeconomic standpoint. Where is $2,500? All right. So is this? No, I, I, okay. So I see where he's getting $2,500 from where that article was made. This is a support. 
this $2,500 is a support. It's right here, it's beautiful, it makes sense. So we'll delete the green circle now that we know where this line is. This purple line down here is $2,500, indicating the pullback that he's expecting. So they're expecting some sort of massive pullback like this. Is that likely? I think not. I don't think it's likely for a couple of reasons. Yes, I know we are nearing the overbought market on the weekly, which is a very strong indicator and it isn't something to mess around with, but I do want to show you guys previous history. Now check out Bitcoin in the past. Since 2015 all the way to 2017, it was either cruising at 58 and up or it was in the overbought market. So Bitcoin has no issue being overbought. You see, it would literally just come back down as low as, and we'll draw it out because we do want to mark this. It could literally fall as low as maybe here, which is 60 on the RSI, before it tends to pull back up. So you'll notice we just ever so recently decided to enter back into around 64, 63 on the RSI. And that gives us all this clearance to move up higher because you've noticed the past four years or three years, it has been in the overbought market. So I don't think it's going to pull back down that low. I think it has finally just broken out of this bearish momentum it's had for months. And now it's finally time to move up. Now, keep in mind, we just started to, to swing back upwards. You can see we broke very violently below our, high, our, our downtrend right here, this yellow downtrend. And I'll make this purple because I do think that would be more helpful. So you can see we did have this purple downtrend right here coming into this you know thick yellow line. And it is sort of like a triangle, a descending triangle. And because we broke bearish from that, we fell way, way, way below our high low moving averages. We can see what exactly is happening, happening now. We finally swung right back up, caught back up to our high low MMA saw resistance, but we finally broke back into it. So honestly, where I see the market going for 2019 is a potential projection like this. We could you know, see some resistance with this red band, but eventually break on top of it and start using that as support. And then we could easily start to head up much, much higher. Do I think we're gonna just veer right back down to 2,500? No, it doesn't seem likely. And if that happened, it would send us right back into an overbought, an oversold market, which Truthfully, Bitcoin has not been in until or since 2015. We really have not been that near overbought or sorry, oversold in a very long time. Now, you know, that's not referring to the fact that we were just there uh, in the beginning of, you know, uh, 2019, you know, regards to this. But that would also be an all time low that we haven't seen with Bitcoin in a very long time, way past 2015. That's another reason why I don't think $2,500 is possible. I think that's just way too clickbait and not necessary. I don't think that pullback is going to happen in the long term, or sorry, in the 2019 era. I think we're gonna head much higher up. We look fine, you know, zooming back out, you can see we've had many years of being overbought with no problem. We finally got back into that zone. You really think we're gonna head right back out of it? I, I just, I just don't see it, especially with all this. You know, you could go into what exactly what exactly is going on with cryptocurrency, all the spreading and the adoption, and banks using it, and blockchain, and things like that. And you could see that every year the communities and the events get bigger and bigger, and more people and more companies are coming out. Why would that send Bitcoin back down to twenty five hundred dollars? I just can't see it. But lastly, let's wrap things up with Ethereum and Cardano. Ethereum looks very nice, literally following Bitcoin's path, breaking out of its symmetrical triangle. Do I think it's gonna last? Nice to see that we closed above that, but you know, if we see Bitcoin tank, and we see Bitcoin go right back down, which I do think is going to happen, that's gonna be it for Ethereum. Ethereum's gonna fall right back down into its symmetrical triangle, probably bottom out right around here. And then, you know, follow pursuit, maybe fall down like this, bottom out, trade sideways, and then we could potentially see that movement either to the up or the downside. But, you know, everything's really gonna follow Bitcoin at this point. And because Bitcoin's showing some bearish signals, I'm gonna stay out of it because I'm 
uh, more of a conservative trader. Now, Cardano is probably the one coin that's doing the exact opposite of what the market is doing, which is so odd. All the other coins are either near over so near overbought or are overbought. Cardano is not doing that. Cardano is literally oversold. The only coin that I've noticed that is oversold, which is so odd because Bitcoin heads down and see if they're going to take Cardano with it, which I you may not see because you know the markets are moving up right now and cardano is moving farther so it seems like there's some inverse type pattern with cardano that may indicate that when bitcoin starts to plummet cardano may start to rise like this so here's my two cents i truthfully believe i will be buying into cardano very soon mainly because it's still heading down as the markets are moving up now notice we have one we have two, we have three points of contact at this support line. Oh wait, we move back, we have four, we have five. Yeah, we have a lot of support in this channel. So the fact that we finally came back down from this extremely bearish movement and we're finally testing, or going to test this bottom support, indicates a very strong buying opportunity because with us being that low let's check out its weekly with the weekly being at 50 and then with the four hour most likely yes nearing the oversold line gives us plenty of opportunity to see growth this is a beautiful looking chart we're about to hit a beautiful support so i am actually going to be buying in right at this level so we're going to wait it out we're going to see if it can just get that low you also notice we're below our high low mma good indicator being oversold on the daily another great indicator so if we tap this I'll, i'm going to buy in maybe 10 to 20 percent because that looks great so and then i can honestly see a reversal when we start to see bitcoin tumble like uh cardano may start to to pull up from that that inverse movement so definitely keep a close eye on that i'm going to be watching this for the next day or two and if we head a little bit lower it's going to be a great buying opportunity but otherwise guys i'm going to see you in tomorrow's video i know this is long and tedious but definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications give away at 10,000 subscribers we're so close to hitting 9k and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace